Assalamualaikum. Um, just give it a few minutes to get other people on and we'll start this program. Thank you, Mr. Javid. Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon, uh, listeners. Uh, it's me, Suleiman Ben Suare, coming on Facebook Live. Assalamu alaikum, Emily Nangarev. And I'm coming on Facebook Live, Nyopo Discourse, uh, just a short, short, um, I mean, discussion. And I'm actually, I, I was not meant to be on on, 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 uh, on the screen. But there's so much going on in the country, and we can't avoid um, afford to be quiet. Right now, I'm going to dental um, dental treatment. Uh, my actually my front two tooth, uh, uh, some of them are taken out, and I'm still now. But we have to come in. We can't afford to be quiet. We can't afford to be quiet. That's why Mabuganyo and so that come over to have this discussion of, about the state of affairs. And um, the reason we have these discussions, Moine, we have to keep on reminding ourselves what is our stake here and to get the Gambia that we want. And we have to engage in order to do that. And um, I cannot say much about the incident that happened yesterday because I have not got much details about the rape incident, the mother, and suicide. But there's a lot been happening in that country. There's a lot of rape. There's a lot of killing. And most of these killings are within families. A month ago, my first cousin was killed by his own son. And we had about many incidents very, I mean, recurring almost every other day in the country. Every other day in the country. This is something we have never seen or heard. But we have not heard from the government. We have not heard from our leaders. We have not seen the concern that should, urgency that should be shown to address some of the situation. I cannot say it's one thing. Obviously, mental health is an issue. Obviously, some of this mental health or most of it is driven because of illicit drugs, substance abuse, substance abuse, and other factors. But we don't hear anything from our leaders, be the health minister, the incident of rape on a woman. We don't hear the woman affairs minister. What was the point appointing a woman's affairs minister? We don't hear from the vice president, who is supposedly um, a gender activist, who supposedly secure his her position due to what gender activism and. Not only that, but these things happen and we forget about, about them. Because in most cases, it's not happening to people that we perceive to be important. Because it's happening to ordinary Gambians. It's a sad state of affairs. As I, as I said, with, with heavy heart, with the incident that happened, I mean, I can't say much. I don't have more details. I cannot look at those pictures. Even with the person that committed the crime, I'm not excusing the crime. But that's why, as, that's why society and government for that matter have to be fit for purpose. 
leadership has to be fit for purpose in all the society to be as it, it should be. And um, that would lead us to understand where we are now. There's nothing that works in that country because we fail to have the leadership that would make the country work. Every country should work according to the needs of that country. When we asked for a change, we knew what the change, the change we wanted. And all it takes, it's the intention. If Barrow had the intention to see the interest of Gambians, Barrow would have delivered. He would have had the right people with him. The ultimate blame would be Barrow because he was elected as the president as an independent person. He was elected and given executive powers. The powers to hire, fire, power to constitute a, a, a cabinet, powers to, 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 I mean, to, to, to raise, I mean, uh, um, uh, take our resources and to go to parliament and explain to parliament how that resources is to be spent and to be approved. The, 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 the power and the, the institutions, the mechanisms to, to, to legislate, to, to, mean, to make, a, a, in a sense, to legislate. Yes, the legislator is the parliament. But most, I mean, that's the unfortunate part of it. We have not even seen, we only saw one pirate's member bill or two, and that was to the interest of Barrow for that matter. It's coming from the AG chambers, from the Minister of Justice. Everything that's needed, all the resources that's needed, Barrow had, be the goodwill from the international community. We had about the donor pledge. We have seen Gambians, goodwill, been patient, waiting for things to happen. Instead, within four years, we haven't seen nothing. And the government within four years have gone out to borrow on our behalf, on the behalf of generations to come, more than what Yaya may have borrowed for 22 years, in four years. In four good years, he have borrowed more than 22 years of what Yaya may have borrowed. We are not talking about Sado. Just imagine, because I mean, borrowed far more than what the PPP had borrowed. The, the other aspect is, within the four years, the diaspora remittance have actually doubled. Diaspora remittance have actually doubled, means Gambians outside have contributed more. But he even refused to acknowledge the diaspora. The government have no initiative, not one, created one initiative that would enhance the diaspora. The government doesn't even have a desk. Not a, a, a say of a ministry or permanent secretary, a directorate dedicated to the diaspora. When the, your biggest resource is the diaspora. That's why I said the blame squire. For he fires, he hires whoever he wants because that's what the, uh, I mean, that's the interpretation of the law. I, I refuse to accept that interpretation, but because Gambians have accepted that interpretation, that Barrow can, I mean, take a, a carpenter and make him the justice minister, uh, 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 the health minister, and Gambians will say he has the powers. Barrow can fire any Gambian, regardless whether they have done something wrong or not. They said he's got the powers. Now, he have those much, he have that much power, but he have never used that power to the interest of the people. What have we witnessed? The wealth, 
Vars Barrow accumulated. And due to that accumulate, uh, accumulation of wealth, in this regard, corruption, disregard rule of law, in this regard of anything else that works in the country, he doesn't have time for that. He would not even talk to Gambians. The cabinet have not had the meeting for over a month. With all that is going on in the country, that cabinet have not sat for over a month. They're just running around on Barros' errands and their errands. He's, he, Barra has become one of the richest, not even talk of Gambians in the, in the South region within these four years. We don't even know how much wealth Barra has. But what that ensured, the crime rate, we look at that, the, the standard of living, and everything else is because of Barra didn't care. He doesn't have any economic policies, he doesn't care about that. We have seen the state of our hospitals. The maternal in, I mean, I mean, infant mortality rate. People are just dropping dead, misdiagnosis and everything else. There's nothing absolute. We have seen the state of our schools. Any re rehabilitation of a school that occur in the country has been done by Diaspora and Gambians on the ground on charity basis. The, all the rehabilitation has been done by charity organizations. Casa Gambia and um, uh, MRC Holland Foundation. The MRC Holland Foundation projects, Baro is trying to take the MRC uh, Holland Foundation uh, uh, projects as government projects, not schools. Even the college in Basse is on charity by the Holland uh, MRC Holland Foundation. What have Barrow spent this money on? We know he increases women in salary, and he in increases allowances, and he increases uh, his um, his um, domestic uh, arrangements or what you call them, expenditure. To the extent of Barrow's storekeeper now is building mansion. Yes, that's why we don't have, we don't see our hospitals improve, our schools improve, um, healthcare services improve, or anything else. To develop a country, it's not only to build roads and bridges. For people with their ignorance to run around, to show roads and bridges being built in Basse and everywhere else. I'll say one thing here, I cannot go deep in it. It, it will take time to explain that. We are not discussing uh, the details of development. Roads and bridges are very important in development, the infrastructure. But part of the infrastructure, how the importance it is, especially in the case of Gambia, because Gambia is within another country, Senegal. We have to think of where and when and how. How are we going to benefit? What's this world? Uh, how are we going to maximize it? It's what we are doing right now. Because Gambia, we are not spending, we are not developing our productive, I mean, sectors, agriculture. Is dead. We are not producing anything. We don't have manufacturing. We are not empowering Gambian entrepreneurs to even import. No, we are empowering some who are patrons of bar, monopolized market. We'll talk about that. In this sense, what are we building all those roads and bridges for? Our farmers don't have tractors, don't have any activity for that matter. They still, I mean, laboring on small farms, not large scale farms. Agriculture is not industrialized. Who we serve it? 
is just for Senegal to easily cross whenever they want, wherever they want, quicker. They can get to their markets, they can get their produce from the customers and to the north, they can get their mar merchandise from the port of uh, um, Dakar easy down to the customer end. And to the re 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 export trade, they have an advantage. What are we doing? What's the strategy for our export trade? People celebrating the roads and bridges, they're good. But are we maximizing to use it for, for its full potential? That's not happening. That's why we need capable leaders to think about this. Thing. How much does it cost us? And people say it's free from China. No, that's not in free. China is reaping the benefit in other areas. If we manage our economy well, we can build our own bridge. How much does it cost to build some of those bridges? There are many ways you can do it. In, in when it will benefit us. To do it to the extent of Gambians will end up building their own bridge. Gambian companies will end up building their own bridge. But even the maintenance, China will come and maintenance the bridge. When we're going to create jobs. When we're going to encourage our engineers in the diaspora and everywhere else to go back to Gambia. Where are the contracts? These are things that, I mean, we need good leaders to think about in order to have them. But there's evidence here. And um, I want this discussion to people to see the evidence, look at the evidence themselves. I know people might be seeing them, but they might not put it together to understand what is happening here. And um, that's where we, you know, when someone is desperate, that person is dangerous. That's why even your own child, you don't corner them. When you corner your child and they don't have any chance of escaping, they come charging just like animals would do anything. If you stand, I mean, steady, the bull can walk, run around you, the bull will never, I mean, 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 I mean hit you. But if you obstruct the bull, and then the bull will go for you. In this case, Barrow is in a desperate situation. And for him to be in a desperate situation, and knowing that he has, I mean, the sovereign, he is the head of the sovereign, the state, head of state. We have a problem. We don't want someone who is in a desperate situation to be in charge of that country. This is what we have now. Why is he desperate? We have, re Barrow have now realized that what he expected or what he was told, that it's easy to, I mean, uh, overcome Gambians. It's easy to fool Gambians. You are, you are the incumbent. You have 40%. You have 30% advantage. All you need is 20%. You, you, you give out money. You appoint people, certain people, because of they form prominent families. Oh, the two biggest tribes in the Gambia are, are, are these tribes. The most influential tribe in the Gambia is that tribe. Get them in. Put them here. You will win. That's a lot. That's a lie. It takes far more than that. And incumbents still have advantage. But it still needs sophistication. Because the game has changed. The influences have changed. The influences are no more Alcanos, are no Imamos, are no more um, Sefo. Yeah, they have. Depends on who they are. You can be an Imam and not have that influence. You can be an Alcano. You can be a safe, no influence. You can be appointed governor, no influence. Because the distortion was that if Yaya Jame appoints anybody anything, they have influence because it's not influence. It was the power vested on them because they are representing Yaya Jame and what does that mean? The fear. That's why even a non entity in the street can be appointed by Yaya Jame and people will fear, fearful of him. Not even appointed, knowing that he's just. Even NIA or he have I mean, a number to call an NIA officer. People will fear. Then that's what we perceive as his influential. 
And after Yaya Jamil, we think those people will still be influenced because they've been commissioners, they've been governors, they've been alcalos, they've been this or that. Life has changed. The population of the country now is over 70% youth. What do influence them? Who are the social influences now? You think the Alcalo influence them? I mean, these things have changed. The other thing that changed is communication. You cannot influence people without communicating. And communication, the person who communicates have to be eloquent, have to be charismatic, have to be appealing because of their integrity or whatever. Or they might even not integrate, but they are good at bluffing up. They might be good scouts. That's the bit of sophistication they might have. And the medium, what medium do they have to communicate? To reach the targeted audience. In those days, in the force republic, we know how communication was. It, it was radio. There's no television. Radio goes everywhere, the Gambit, and who else? The Greers. 94, literally, the archives of the Radio Gambit was redundant because there's no song in there, be a Korah, be a Halam, or anything that did not mention the people who governed the First Republic and everything else. Every song that have ever existed, they have um, remixed it and make it relevant to those influences. The news would start with the president. The news would end with the president. The news start with the president goes to the ministers. And every, anything that's communicated is directed and the, in the pleasure of, of the president and the cabinet and how they run it. Any other way? Who else? Everything else who informs the reverse of the Gambia. Now is social media. People don't watch the tele, or they watch the tele, snippets of tele, they watch from their palm. They put, things have changed. I mean, as I said, all these things are different dynamics, but we don't get it. They don't get it. And the country have come from a very difficult I mean, um, I mean, area for 22 years. Um, the message, the conditions are not the same as when uh, Germany took over the country. It was far better. And you don't expect people to relate to the same things again. Build some roads, build some bridges. I mean, bridge, I mean um, build a university, build a hospital. What doesn't matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. Just build a structure. Label it a hospital. Label it a university. That's why he was. They were trying to get a university. That they built a university when they have an existing university. They cannot take care of. Or they want to build a big hospital in Bilkama when they cannot take care of Bilkama Health Center. All is because of this quality. It fell. Everything else. I mean, fall apart. Barrow becomes so useless. Who are the people he have around? You see, the guy doesn't even understand it starts with something called structure. Doesn't understand structure. He doesn't understand um, how organizations are. And, um, he doesn't know how to do things, to organize things. You know, to be innovative. How do you do things? You have to have an idea. You have to have an objective, an idea of something. This is what I want to create. This is what I have. Now, when you have that, you have to think of, okay, what structure can I feel, um, need to put in in order to capture this idea? A government, a political project. When you have that structure, oh, who are the people? And what are the things, the capacity? And overall, 
all these things need communication. If organization discipline, communication. And in a project like that, communication is huge. Not only how, how this um, um, affect, but how is it controlled? What control me mechanisms do you have? So that you can classify your communication, you can get to things and you can hold things that you need to hold when time is right. You need to know basis and every other thing. We need people that understand these cultures. Then that's how things are done. You expect to have do salons. You expect to have alcohol contests. You expect to have CD guys. You expect to have, let's go on. For these people to be, one thing is when you have these people first, your advice and everything, which moral Gambia do you expect to have to come behind these people? Their integrity, their knowledge, their wisdom. Now, I am going to the president to deal with this president who is advised by CDJ, who is advised by uh, um, Dusan. Now, I am being dictated, or I am dealing, I mean, it's just silly. But you will still have people who have, I mean, we call educated. But without wisdom, without integrity. That's why the next people we have that we assume to be educated have no integrity. That's why people who have problem with what Omar Faye said, I understand why. But tell me in that cabinet who would not who is not thinking. You see, people like Omar Faye does the thing. They think they can they can um, get away with anything because they are charismatic or whatever, or, or, or they are in company. They are in company of people that they are uh, comfortable with. Yes, as I said, we all have extreme views. But when we come on a platform or in, in, out in the open, we measure what we put out. But if you cut us in our comfort zones, with our friends or something, and we do say things that will make you cringe, that will make you surprised. But that's what can happen. That's why nothing, they don't care about anything. They will never resign. They will do anything to stay in power, to stay in office. And disregard what happens to the country. The concerns that we have, it doesn't concern them. Now, he, he lives with that hope and the promise they gave him and thinking it's all true. Oh, you have to do this. Oh, I mean, put these projects there, put those projects there. He have additional projects. They went on borrow against. And we have so-called technocrats saying, yeah, it's nothing wrong with inflation. I mean, borrowing, uh, they, they, nonsense. They justify it. They want to build more roads and bridges and everything everywhere. Markets and everything. Markets without commodities. Market without commodities, not only market without commodities, even the commodities that are in the market are not Gambian one. At times, when we talk about these things, it might sound xenophobic or anything. But there's an element. There's an element, and we have to be very careful with that. Migration patterns have changed. Used to be, when people migrate from Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Guinea Conakry, Senegal, they, within a short time, they become permanent and French and coexist with the people. And that's how they easily assimilate and, and carry on and see themselves Gambian. They don't need a paper to tell them they're Gambians. Everything is Gambian. No. Now, because of communication and everything, people are not detached. It's the same example in the diaspora here. 
We used to have gas pipes. I'll never think of gambling. The just parents cannot wait. They're almost in Gambia every day because of the mode of communication we have. They're in touch. They listen. To, that's the same thing with, with West Africans now in the Gambia. Most of the resources has been repatriated, which was not the case. Which was not the case. We, we still have people assimilating, but as, I mean, the distance. It's not that much anymore. And um, especially when they feel insecure, their investments and everything is looked after the government. All these promises they went on and did all these things, went around the country to use the so called uh, Institution, I mean, the constitutional right, I mean, mandate to control to the country and all those things for political reasons. They did all that. And now they promise him, now that's it. Now we can launch the party. We can go and be, do a big, let's go to the stadium and prove. We all know what happened. You know, what we say in Wolof. Just I think in Mandinka, Kulio Bekitar, Janning, Dingo Bay, Dingo Tobelala, Molly Wuleta. What does Joseph mean is before Baro finishes to declare the content blank or whatever. People left. They don't care. They weren't there for that. It was a scam. Everything was a scam. And it don't matter. That makes him desperate. Now, I thought to say that I have money to five years. And the five years is here. And the only thing, only way I can stay longer, I cannot force Gambians. It's not the idea. Gambians will not be forced again. I have to win. Winning the election is not likely anymore. Or everything I was told is not true. What am I going to do? Now, started to talk to all those people again. What did you tell me? What did you tell me? What did you tell me? Where's the money I give you? Because he thought. That if if we give 10, 000, 10 million to this person, five million to the people, uh, that person wants those people who hold onto that one campaign after elections. He was full. Those people went and built their houses. Those people went and upgrade I mean, their women. And they went for other women that they never thought they would. And some of these women even don't want to marry them. The, the others upgrade their marabouts. Now they need a bigger marabout. Not a marabou, they go uh, in the street corner to give $500. Now they, they're going to seek out the bigger marabou because of the, the position they have now. No, they want to elevate themselves and it's cool and marabou because they, that, that's how they think. And that's where the money goes. They upgrade themselves and elevate. This will out. And they cannot account for what they promised. Why are we here? And today, I think in the standard we have had, Silaba Samati, who was quiet, came out to say that people surrounding Baro are wolf in sheep uh, clothing. Not only Silaba, we had their WhatsApp uh, audience fighting amongst each other. They're not fighting us anymore. They don't have all time. We had them blaming other folk. What has happened or what is not happening? Or who derailed what? Barrow is desperate. Now, we had the silence. How can you expect money would be only the motivating factor? 
I know the PPP. You'll be surprised. People that build the PPP build it on their sweat. So we are liberals. Political parties that existed in Ghana, most of the cases is the PPP. Yes, when they become in government, there's some uh, incumbent advantage they have. They have bigger patrons and all the people. But still, average member is motivated because they believe in common. People were just, some people just have a love for Saddam. Others, obviously, have waited to the party because of the people within the party. That's how it works. But the love of Saddam was evident. In Bacau, it was proven in Bacau. PPP lost all the seats um, from, from 78. From um, um, ANJ lost the seat to Bunding. And Bunding passed away in an accident. And there's a by election, Dimbo by force. Almost every election. Well, in 1982, when it was changed, that you have a parliamentary and a presidential elections. That's it. That's changed in 1982. Before it was one decision. Sadada have never lost in Bahau. But the PPP candidate always lose in Bahau. Then telling you there are people voting for NTP, but they will uh, vote for Sadada rather than say Bula. That's to tell you the popularity of the person. And it happens in other areas. I mean, it was not, uh, I mean, I mean, in other areas because of candidates, I mean, but Sada have been winning everywhere. The unpopularity, you cannot just have a party. They don't believe in anything. Nobody believes in anything. People around Barrow don't even believe in Barrow or, or nothing. Now, people who are after this period, who they go to, they don't tell them anything. It's a matter of, let's go and see Barrow. And people will be, will have hope that they're going to State House. That's, State House was seen with, I mean, fly down. It's probably, yeah, they degraded. Not probably, yeah, they degraded and Barrow just put it in the bins. Going to State House or something. It wasn't big, massive, I mean, as kids, we wander around. We walk through from one end to another. But you just feel you were in the midst of something. That's where the saying go, this small movie we don't call Dinja Bema Uyi president. But it's no more. It has been reduced to nothing. It's reduced to nothing. Tell people that Dinja is the president. Some people expect lunch, dinner. Some people expect money. Some people expect that they, they have, but listen, that's, that's their level. They've been all scammed. But not that they believe in. Not that they have seen evidence of their life being better off. They will have been worse off. That's why if you hear the desperation of Baro, I give you two things that Baro have said to them. Those who are desperate in it. Barrow have talked about how wealthy he was, how rich, I mean, wealthy he was. Cars, listen, do you know why? He's, he's scared. He's just thinking, I might lose this election. And now all this wealth, I'm going to be accountable for it. See, then we should be careful. We have a bull out there. Let's put it. We cornered him. He's going to come after us. I don't know. I just saw something earlier. My phone just died off. That, oh boy, one of the young musicians permit has been cancelled because of there's a song all boy said and is related about. Tells you the power no, I have kicked it. The other thing is claiming that he was, he was a multimillionaire. But we have seen the evidence. We have seen the evidence. But <laughs> let's December pass and let's bring him to account. He will tell us, he will prove it. 
The other thing is, Baro going to Basel or somewhere in um, in the in the URR or somewhere in progress. Talking about irrigation by and up. When the people don't even have drinking water. They don't have regular, they, they don't have regular energy. Their, 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 their energy pool. They can don't even have wells right now, today. Irrigate them. This is you telling them that you are going to give them practice and everything. When you have practice, inherited practice from uh, uh, from Jamie and you saw of those practice among yourselves. We thought five years was a long time. We fought for five years. This year, time to reckon with. There's nothing in the party. There's no structure. There's no capacity. They're fighting among each other. Money was the motivation. The money, I mean, Barrow gave now. Barrow is gone mad because some or none of them can, I mean, they cannot uh, account for this, but. <laughs> but we we know where it is because we have seen the evidence of the homes they built within four years. We have seen now the word close the way. We have seen the women they married or uh, the change in their families. We from public school to private schools. We have seen the women they date now and we see the evidence. Now they fight it more people than that. We have seen recently. Evidence meetings been held now. Cross carpet to borrow, you're giving 100,000, and now you have to go and prove your followers. Go and get your mates and everybody organized food and so on. And what is happening? We've seen the evidence that 100,000 probably 50,000 will go into that. You can be 50, but where is the attendance? Who said that these people? I have not seen one of them yet who can guarantee said that the entire family is even in their own party. Some of them, their fathers are in different parties. Their even mothers are not supporting with the uh, bar. What's your influence? You cannot even convince your own fa family. That's how difficult it is. Supporting Barrow is a in 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 a, uh, to support Barrow is like in. A job that is not doable. It's impossible. It's mission impossible. What are you going to sell to people? What are you going to sell to people? They try to sell these things to Baroque uh, of Peace or whatever, but it's a lie. That is not selling anymore. That's why they're quiet. Don't for yourself. Why are they quiet? They're just happy that they will only be happy when they see us fight up more each other. I am not doing that. Let's concentrate on removing that, but let's concentrate on replacing that with what will damn the desire. What again is democracy? We could on voting, changing, changing until we have what we deserve. But let's try and do it and improve from what we have before. We all know what conditions we we we, we inherited. We have seen this evidence of this um desperation. Now Barrow have realized he cannot win an election. I said this. People say no incompatibility. You have seen people following Barrow. Nonsense. I said it all nonsense. It takes more than that. It takes more than that. Now, what is Barrow hoping on? To steal elections. He has been hoping on that. But it becomes more desperate. It becomes more desperate now because to steal, imagine how much we have to steal. See, this stealing of elections started in Jawa. Would you Jawa benefited so much in, in it? I did a program on this because I did my investigations before before 2016. 
2013, 2014, 2015, I did my investigation. I had a report written on it. The genesis, where it started, how it started. From few percentage. And I looked at elections from the first copy, all of elections. Look at all the data, the difference and consequences and population census and started to see the, the discrepancies. And some of it, I was, I was, I mean, I witnessed it. Where some uncles, aunties, and other people would vote for PPP. And I know their Guineans or their Senegalese. We have seen that. It started then. But it was of three to five to 10 percent. According to my um, data interpretation, it went about 10 percent. Because the PPP was popular. They don't need much. It's not that they couldn't win elections. They will win elections, but some MPs wanted the, the areas that are They wanted to be in parliament. And this is what, that's why it was only affecting certain constituencies. Other constituencies were not marginal seats, what we call marginal seats. It's not seats that you, no. You will ramp it in there. Remember, for, I think OJ's first election, he lost his first election. That's where it started. It's, you see, that's why it's not an easy operation. It takes a lot. When Yaya Jami came in, they taught him. The PPP guys taught him. And even some NCP guys who knew what was happening. Most of them are late. There's no point calling names now. They, they, they taught him because they they formed the APRC. They're the one they formed the APRC. Then they become the intellect. The this thing. It went on. Yeah, they become unpopular. Yeah, they needed an industrial skill. When I did my analysis and everything, it corresponds. Thirty percent. He needed thirty percent to secure victory. That's why he keep on keeping this 70% mark on up. 30% was. Now the other things, the incumbents and what, what incumbency and what it is. But to do a 30%, what Yajam has to do. The central statistics, Yajam have to dismantle the central statistics. In order to get the uh, uh, census data in a way that would give him uh, the information required informed how this 300,000 votes would fit in. There are other things, other mechanisms, not that people don't know. The fair factor, nobody would challenge. We challenge, some did challenge, but we know what happened. This was what we had. Barack cannot do that. He is trying. Jamil did not the percentage that he will need to steal the election, he can't. If he tries, and guess we should be avoid the Gambia with the punch. We should avoid that. How do we avoid that? People in NPP should know this is not about personal projects. You cannot risk this national security of that country. And trying to steal this election is that our the, our security reforms have not happened. Please, if we get to that, would not. Uh, I mean, we talk about that another day. But I'm just saying that it's a ticking time bomb if we ever go that route. He cannot steal election. He's trying. Trying everything. We're not gonna. Let and we heard recently about this diaspora war. I am not blaming the um, the IC. But I don't believe that IC have any intentions to steal the elections of us. No. I don't believe that. But 
That doesn't mean that we are not going to open our eyes. This diaspora go, but Barrow doesn't want it. Now, if Barrow doesn't want it, it's to Gambians to get it for themselves. Our political parties, do political parties really want it on the ground? It's just a question. It's a discussion for another day. But if you want it, we can have it. We have to put the pressure to have that. Barrow will not give it to us. But do you know what they want to do? They want to be experiment. They want to steal the elections now. Because as I said, the mechanism that they need in the country to do it is impossible for Barrow to do. We can't detect it. Um, if we detect it, we know that people will fight against it. In, the people fight against it anyhow, mama manner to stop it. He knows that. Nobody would scared to do that. This is an election that we have to determine. The Gambian people have to determine. No more election determined by foreigners. No more election determined by a dictator. But what he's trying to do is give the so-called diaspora vote. And we're not going to allow that. As a pilot project to West African countries. That way, he thinks he can operate there to register enough. Hmm. No, we are not going to allow that. It's not going to happen. The diaspora will vote as a diaspora, and a baseline has to be drawn to, to tell us how did we get to decide who, a weak country, or where the vote is. We have to have um, a, a structure to, to say, okay, UK, America, this country, Spain, and Italy, because of this, because of that. This is how a Gambian we believe, because of this information we got from here, tell us that Mohammed, it, we cannot, dis you cannot expect to have the amount of Gambians have the right. Now the court, not only the constitution, the court has interpreted to say that we have the right. And if a government goes out there to intentionally avoid, to stop a sizable number of Gambians that would have decided the elections. That election is fraud. That election is fraud, it's not legal. That election should be challenged. But again, that's Barrow's uh, desperation. The, uh, he's not getting uh, um, away with this. Another point, I have to speed it up a bit. Because I'm still um, on the pain. My pain with my foot, I've just got extracted uh, uh, to a uh, one so, so far, the rest will be extracted soon. But <laughs> we can't afford to be silenced. And let no Jola or Sarah saying now we are Another thing now, <laughs> the desperation to get the APRC. I said this before. APRC. Barrow will never have the APRC. The APRC is Yaya. But yeah, those people might. <laughs> they already eaten um, as 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 well. They should. They are they ate enough from Barrow. The Rambos and all those executives, they are people are stupid. It's like what is left. And I've made my calculus based on formulas, I believe it works. And the APRC vote hemorrhage to 40,000. Hemorrhage to 40,000. I've spoken about that before, probably we'll speak about that again. I don't have time to get into that, but it can break the 40,000. Don't be fooled by any so-called rallies. No party fully with rallies. It doesn't interpret, it doesn't really represent any, any, uh, any, uh, any measure to, uh, to know how popular one person is or party is. There's a lot of tricks in, 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 in mobilizing to, to, to give you that, that, that number. What actually happened is, now, he's desperate. They fight every kind of mediation, sign of uh, this thing to get the agenda. They took, yeah, they took properties. They are not the agenda properties. They took our properties from the agenda. But the agenda perceived to be his property. Nothing. One, 
how can they replace that? They cannot replace that. In fact, they, they mock up that bit. Yajami is holding on to that one. Two, they are prosecuting. The international community is already prosecuting people that have committed crimes on behalf of Yajami. They have had the arrest of junglers everywhere now. What will say that the Ajame will be scot free? That's one person. The TRRC have exposed that much. And the last sitting of the, the, the West Africa migrants had just made a case that the Ajame, Echo was cannot dare even talk about the Ajame now. Ghana, the sitting chair, Ghana, for the next two, three years. Done. And harming other West Africans. The crime was committed against West Africans. And um, the SFL have done a fantastic job to say everything the Ajame said and his people were lies. The compensation, everything now doesn't mean anything. The case is fresh as, as it was true. Can Adam Gore stop that move? Hell no. No Gambian can stop that. It's in the hands of the international community. It's a matter of time. And that's only crimes that the IGM committed on West Africans and Gambians. I'm not talking about international crimes that already are under investigations. That, uh, that's what led to the uh, properties in, in, in America being freeze, and orders will fall. Rock trafficking and orders will fall. They're desperate. They cannot offer you anything to Yajami or guarantee anything to Yajami. Yajami, I tell you one thing, you might not like him, but he's grow up on things that he need to do. He just have an evil spirit. He grew up things that he need to do, how to execute that. They will have negotiations as much as they want. Now, their last attempt, they, they had attempts, they sent the external affairs minister, intelligence chief, everything else. They tried to appease the IGM in many ways at the last minute. <laughs> now, they send the Guinea Bissau president. Make a show. Yajim is no fool. Get your, to, to ask Yajim, ask your people to endorse Adam about. Because they're desperate. Endorse Adam about them. When Adam about will, the TRC would not mean anything. You will be the singer. That's a lie. Adam, but yeah, I know it's not true. That, that Adam about cannot do that. Even if Adam about borrow money. But another thing is, yeah, I mean, no. Why would the Ajami believe in Adam Abaro anything that Adam Abaro says? Have Adam Abaro ever kept a promise? Have Adam Abaro ever kept a promise? Adam Abaro said it himself. You say anything to get what you want. You say anything to get what you want. You think the Ajami is a fool? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This desperation. Now, this proven that the people we have seen the evidence cannot, he cannot get gambit. He cannot have any way of stealing this election on diaspora votes or foreigners. There, there's going to be a campaign to talk to our families. Yes, the, for, the people we perceive for, uh, foreigners in the Gambia are our families. They are Gambian, Sierra Leone, Guinean, Malians, and their families. They are us. We are going to talk to them. Get out of our, I mean, uh, interfere. If you want to become a Gambian, there's a route to become a Gambian. If you live in the country for 100 years, does not make you a Gambian. There's a legal route to become a Gambian. Take that route and you'll be supported and you become a Gambian. But not based on to, to enable people to become leaders. We cannot do that. We cannot expect to have block of people to, I mean, to, 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 to get in our leaders in illegally. He cannot do that. The deal with yeah, um, even uh, Jamme, uh, which is about 40,000 him rich, he cannot get that. 
end of the day, people, people in the APR say, I'm already going to other parties. Yes, there's always people be loyal to Germany, or people would support Germany. But even Germany wanted today, <laughs> it's not uh, the whole of APRC would uh, go, go with power. If, as, as we all know, as I said, it, it's a matter of time, the APRC themselves will, don't on them, I mean the militants, that this is no more project. Project Jammeh is never going to happen. Jammeh will never be a president again, or Jammeh will never come to the Gambia as a free man. That's going to dot on them. They've been scammed for so long. And now APRC will be known. Going to that ballot box, anything APRC would not uh, be cause of influence. The only reason we're still talking about them is because of the failed leadership we have. Appeasing them. Not doing the right thing. What I mean is, I'm not saying to, to, to victimize anybody. I'm not talking about revenge. I am saying that to, to leave an example that they would be ashamed of ever supporting someone like you. That's the best. We don't need to even dislike APRC. They're bad themselves. But if we behave in all many other ways, many other ways, the only other way that you have not behaved is because we have not let you. If we let him, just as we let the Ajami, it will happen. I'll tell you that. We have seen the anger in him. We have him see, he, see the low esteem in him. But in the country. What same person? I I have a guy who used to tell me, I mean Nitki do like a do like a jam, yapam, jiri jam gale. If anybody says that they love Adam Abaro, you have to love Adam Abaro for something. The guy is not charismatic. The guy doesn't talk to you. The guy is not. I mean what? You would have loved Adam Abaro that your condition of standard of living conditions have improved. No, because they don't understand how development happened. They don't understand uh, anything. But what have you even seen? It's, you see, it's not that Adam Abaro did not know, as we call him clueless. No, he prioritized himself and the people around him. If it was that he had done everything and it did not work, and it's impossible if you have done everything, something will work. Nothing will work because you have done nothing. It's that simple. Nothing works because he hasn't done nothing. It's part of party pattern, I mean, things. The conditions in this country, and um, we look at that evidence, how can anybody like Adam about? He's not addressing them. There's nothing. As I started the program about the unfortunate um, crime that happened, but as I said, which is the rape and the mother and the suicide, three. Rape is equal to mother and the mother in the young lady and even taking him his own life. That is serious. When did we ever had that in the Gambia? How many times would that happen? But as I said, how many times we had someone kill their parents? My own first cousin, Lamin Suare in Bacau, was a son. His fourth son, fourth son, who had, I mean, history of mental illness, was consistent by the Gambia. But most mental illness now, in youths are substance abuse. And just chop my cousin in pieces, the father. You think that is natural? That is normal? And how many times did we hear it? The back way guy that came back killed my father and all the people. Have we not seen the violence in the youth? Did we hear the, the women's affairs minister? Did we hear the vice president? Did we hear the president? Did you hear the youth minister? Did we hear the local government minister? No. 
Do you hear any initiative in developed countries or civilized countries when something happened? Knife crime, they said, compete for knife crime. Gun crime, compete for gun. Whether they solve it or not, something will be put there. But they don't care. But they've not been killed yet. Or families have not been killed yet. They don't care. They will not remorse. They don't address these issues. Women been killed, raped, murdered, everything, none. Not the women's affairs also, the so-called gender activists. Not the people. And they turn out to say, we care about the women, we care about the youths. Youths, what happened to them? Youths minister, no, he's talking about football. Think of everything that happened to them. Not jobs, not everything. Not anything. The healthcare. Uh, this morning, I had a conversation with my niece. He's presently in Dakar. I'm not emotional for him, her, for her. She's present in Dakar. Why? She's privileged. It's not right, but she's privileged. And she was not privileged. I go to public hospital, take a flight, go to Dakar, and get diagnosed and be taken care of. Part of this She's well, she's anything. Pregnant, misdiagnosed. Completely, what they said was completely not true. And she's privileged. She, 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 she has this privilege. She has this privilege of selecting the healthcare, even to, to buy buy her own healthcare, but still, that's how poor it is. What happens to the child, uh, uh, the woman in Wooly, the woman in, 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 I mean, Sapo and all other areas, the woman in Serapunda, Bakau and all other areas, who are in the, ma I mean, in the hands of the, uh, the national health system and not in there. Have we ever heard the um, vice president, women's affairs minister, the president, the health minister? What the health minister does come up online about the conditions? Say, talking about going on election, think about that our health system has never been better than this. Not even Yajam and not Yawa. It's a lie. I remember. Um, uh, 40 years, 40 something years ago, I was a child. My mother having major invasive surgery at the, uh, at the Royal uh, Victoria Hospital. And sad enough, six years ago, a woman I know to have the same have to be taken to the car. She said, you have to do that. This was 40 years ago. Or something years ago. And now, at our mega health center, where you call it flagship hospital, teaching hospital, whatever it is, cannot even have a blood bank system. People have to be running just like in a country zone. Even country zones, I'll tell you, we do money to have our field hospitals with all type of blood that is needed to, I mean, for emergency, not in our, uh, I mean, our uh, RVTH, or I mean, Edward Francis Small Hospital. 
We all, every day we hear, we see the evidence on social media. We're looking for blood O, blood A, blood B, blood C. That's what we are reduced to. And nothing happened. The crime rate in that country, especially from our youth. When we, um, when we were growing up, I know this might be prejudicial, but every crime that happens, there was a foreigner that we can say that does it. If you wake up in the morning and a shop was completely stripped off, they said that the fullest from Kabada, I mean, did it because they have these um, mystical things they do. You'll be sleeping all night, they'll come and open the door and take everything and go. When you have certain break-ins, they say the shushu from, from, from Guinea, the shushu from Guinea, and they're in Manjai or in some of these remote areas. I mean, hardly. You have a major crime and say this is a crime committed by gambling groups. Yes, gambling groups will go and steal stuff, opportunists, minor break-ins, and run away and especially knowing that the house or place is not occupied they will go and probably get to your i mean do stuff but the evidence we have seen with all what the police arrest the police are doing machetes swords knives and when you look at these youths from their 16 17 18 19 20 you can see the evidence that most of these people are under influence. Substance, substance, substance. Do we rehabilitate them? What do we do? We take them to the prisons. Yes, but we they needed to rehabilitate. But what? The billions, millions been taken from the healthcare system, from the schools, where it made them make them fail and everywhere else. Nobody arrested them. No one been prosecuted. We don't even shame them. They don't even talk about them on the media. They don't shame them. That's the country we became. They don't even shame them. Nobody's scared of sailing anymore. Corrupt. But we blame the police. For standing in the street and asking for Nakeba. I'm not including him. What do you expect? When conditions are there, we blame the youth, we blame everybody for it. Yeah, they should be held accountable. But who is holding the others accountable? Nobody. You go to places like GRA, ports, or, or, or all these places and go and see what, <laughs> what these people's salaries are and what do they have. What their salaries are, what do they have? The houses they built, the cars they drive, the lifestyle they maintain, the school, the children going to private schools. And you talk about, they said, Anyan. Things they do. That's the, um, that's the country we have. How can we, how that country, that's, yes, people like that, are happy with that, but there are few. The majority are not. There are few. Oh, Barrow, yeah, Barrow, you know, Barrow, Barrow, Mufi, the Jama, Ban Jama. No, they will say that. They want Barrow. Because they do anything and get away with it. Education, we all know. We heard, see, can you tell me one? Since the education and this, we have seen what? The lower education minister be a cheerleader, running around borough with the t-shirt. That's what education minister knows. Talking about hey, lady, then I'm tasa, school boy, I'm It's a shame, a woman. School boy, I'm tasa, I'm nay. And not one boy has some pangin. Because school boy, school boy, I'm tasa, I'm nay. Every time it's worthy. It's a shame. The higher education minister, nobody even here. Learn my program and everything. My new one, a university would be better, science and one. We can, yes, we can have a science university, but take care of the one we have first. How many students, new motor scholarship, new motor university, why can't we even have free? We can. 
if you have this between Kodi alone, you've got a priority, you've got to go invest for into areas we can afford to pay. So many students, because we need them. But no, some dummy are not affecting, they're not even attending Gambian universities. Them then find out how many civil servants now, now, or in parastatal, they fail some dummy in Canada, in England, and other places, boarding. The gender name care doctor. That's what we have. And you think the majority of people that those people need affected will vote for Barrow? So I'm able to position them. It's impossible. It's an impossible mission. We have seen the Basse uh, uh, College. When we all know those college, people need of education, people need of agriculture, people need of nursing. These are the people going there. We need them. But money you afford to go there. Yo, how do you create your human resource? How do you do that? Kuko am, kuko amot. Social cohesion. Amot. You see, as I said, I cannot talk a lot about this incident yesterday, but there is a lot of them going on. But you see, some of these things, substance abuse is there. But how much of movies are coming from Nigeria, Hollywood, Bollywood, or Nollywood? And we see what Bumagi said the picture, the hanging, the stabbing, this, and we, some of the human sacrifice are here going on. Where do we see that? Where do we see that? All these things are important. This this government ever, and a minister of culture, Ahmad Bab, is just building building his lifestyle. Akanya nanti jabar di sampai di dem, build ker build ker lagi dem. Daka salum fune. Culture. What have we done? Learning deaf programs, other Gambian programs. We look at Senegalese media. Tane, you am Senegalese media. Why? With the talent we have in that country. You see, real Lubari Mokoli, the ad be is part of it. Ad be part of it in the alel, ad be part of it to change Jukunin and other things. And the other thing, why? Again, I'll come to the Amar thing. I want you to talk about it, but people have talked enough. I think, I mean, it's, it's all in, in our face. It's all not on the own friend. So now you can real more than you just move on. You don't get equity. You need to move on. So like, what do you expect? What is the motivation? What is that example you said? Motor money, when you need to look at a lot of things have been done, but it doesn't. Now how the bigger friend, the friend, there's nothing wrong with friend. A friend, that's what you want. Such a kid would want. We all seen what he did with the Janet Commission. Evidence is there. What a money can ban 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 nit Gambian. Queen Ewa, Queen Janganga, Queen Niku de Gumagani Baro, Danko Sani Kata, while a Baro Danko Campina Sani Kokatu, do Niku Ba. There are enough political parties to choose from. Tony Munro and anybody but Baron, you're a man. But we talk about that when we talk about elections. Social cohesion, I'm social mobility. Society, learn and the poor is getting poorer. In Jukui, we begin a year because of poverty. Yes, I'm not saying, what money poverty is not possible to go civic education in theater in different ways. Gambia for over six years, five years, six years. But I know what's in Gambia. People come, people see, I mean, this evidence. And People see it. You know how many we can never see that on social media? I don't know. And the sad point is, when you go to the Senegal, the Senegal, the street or anywhere, and things, 
And I'm glad someone wrote about that. I think it's worth some damage. Corporate persecution. You know, you know when abuse, it was like corporate abuse. Corporate abuse. DNA didn't like and send boss, he didn't get in. To do, I'm a Dylan Paul's, I'm a di power dynamics at will. Now, just as people go out there for pers the, pers the persecution, and not only women, men, boys, that's how bad it is. Most of people do talk about the skin, skin bleaching, men, boys, because of the gay. Mentality of light skin mufa. Problems are just that them see they them see different environments. You have seen the evidence. I'm also in your foreigner. No, it's dominated by our syndrome. They them corporate. It's no wonder the am is much of not a environment we just like that. But what does the deca when you but again just show the examples and the hypocrisy of this government price price rise because you get said you get said you get said what in the press of it i had it you know you know minister of trade name then your cops the same minister who ends up petrol them up so you you keep petrol, everything the fire, cost of everything in the yoke. Because petrol the fire presents everything in your from from your job them, the trans uh, mobility transport. Now it mungini we continue. <laughs> we don't celebrate man and then the problem with now it, it's not ne that machine. I mean machine with air smell if you celebrate go luba man and then that's not it. So make a baro better. We can make a digital deal with the petrol, digital deal with spare parts, digital deal with procurement, digital deal with anything. Nothing works out, but then blame only people who work now. Barry, the evidence is there. Book boom, delay that money part of money. But when you want to see county job, Jabaram, Kodole, Lanla, a Chinese company, meaning Chinese company, doubling the contract. You think that Chinese company gonna deliver? The same way he's taking from Masari, the Masari guy come to the same way Masari kick back, Kenanagi kick back. That's what you have. Baro is to be bad. Then you knew that's the name. Petrol being a Yoko, now company, BTC, and everything. Ample thousand generator. 35 million. Well, generator will be called petrol. What do you think? The, the, the transporter, the, 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 the uh, trucks with them, the deliverers, you could be best so about the bus at you send, so don't pay, spend $500 for petrol. The other spend $600. You think you don't want to pass that cost to consumer? Look how fair. What would be bigger? The government don't care. Because of what name, social media, truth, or parliament. Parliament warning, then you understand. Why didn't you copy it? Well, not on your copy it. You could justify it. I'm not justifying it. Another thing, more the inefficiency of the pork. We need to have a shipment to Gambia, we say. So, take. So, time of Bunlan, yes, two two weeks dinner egg. Yes, two weeks Bunlan egg Gambia. But you don't go for six weeks because corruption inefficiency. Bulum be money coca. But what would be zero? One million lemona, one million dollars lemona government. In the days of Sardauda, with all the corruption we talk about in Sardauda's government, days of Sardauda, the port of Bandung, Nyungdon Jahe, subvent some to government. Over one million dollars, yeah, two million dollars. They paid the fee. All the projects, project one, pro project a one and two of the WAF, the, the, the those WAF in this world happened in time in Jawara. And the Chinese, nineteen um nineteen 
in late 80s, early 90s. The first one which uh, they paid ADB loans in the funded education ports. They face them subventions, but then the other government did not pay for that. What they? One million, you call, you call. Imagine in the 80s, you know, a million, they knew a one million, you call celebrate. Also, do you know why the money goes to them? Paro Adjaya, my mother, he's still so rich. What am I still so rich? This trip to Dubai we talk about, it's another indication of the desperation. Because he knows he's going to lose the election. He's trying to make some more License. He doesn't care. Port of value, management, and all the things. He's selling, learn everything. Signing contract. As there's no tomorrow. Because he's this way, he's ready to run. And I'll tell you, Barrow would run. I keep saying this Gambia might not have elections in December, but when you have an election in December, then Barrow will not be there. And if, it borrow, if Gambia have elections in December, the election if, has to be right. No matter if it's right, it has to be right. Because then you make some more right. And who wins takes it, but Barrow doesn't have a chance. And I'll tell you after the elections, Barrow will be prosecuted. And if if he should government we know definitely do diligence, like Barrow will skip. He will run to Senegal. He will run to Senegal. And people around him will skip. That's why he's selling as much as possible. You have already committed all the crimes. Again, as I said, all this is possible with all the pain I'm going through in my dental, dental surgery. I could just have said, no, it's just pain. It's not affecting anything else. I can do, deal with it. And um, <laughs> um, at the Sirius and Jolas, we see my uh, gap teeth as well. Apart from that, there's no, no problem. But what I'm saying is, now, what the new family was done for you, end of the day, is not because of behavior. Because you can. And that's why yeah, about Gambia, what can change that register to work? Only diamonds can change the register to work. And who can change as a word doesn't count. Every vote counts. And especially minority communities, women, they are not minority. But they are disadvantaged. Register and then Nini Hamne, any of women registering in for the political parties with the problem. Mangi or the Christian community, minority community, register and enough. You see, give you an example. United Kingdom here, there's something called Operation Black Book. And always our people. They don't take their uh, business seriously. They had the vote. They had the vote. And um, they had the secret office. Asians knew them places they dominate. They become the mayors. They become the power brokers. We either a conservative, we either a label, me, me a liberal, liberal democrat, Local governments, anywhere you have a sizable uh, Asian community, they make so. They are catered for. And the parliamentarians make so they are catered for. They might have a white old male as their MP, but he will make sure legislation does matter that affect them is taken care of. Look at India, because Asians organize themselves on vote. And they vote for themselves. And because they have a sizable major uh, number, then they might not even be the majority in the town. They can be candidates. 
the conservative would compromise. The label would compromise, leave them to compromise. What a time you talk this a chancellor, Monica and Asia. The chancellor here is called Minister of Finance. He, in this country, is the Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, External Affairs. In this country. And people are already stipulating a standard chance to be the next Prime Minister. And Gambia is the same thing. Don't see yourself as a minority because of, or though you are disadvantaged, women especially. Register enough. Ian Nibian register parent. And they will come and make sure you negotiate what you want and make sure they do what you want. If they fail in the parliament, uh, in the presidency, punish them in the uh, parliamentary. Get your candidates in. Get your representative. And again, this election is critical. The government, we talk of Moiwa and the political world. Like mostly in your Nepal and political government, you are a dictator. In, in our case, it should not be. The constitutional uh, review, uh, constitution be Nenko Induat. Nenko Rivua. So, Nenko Ne, the Christians, no, I'm concerned. Women that have concerned. Progressive Gambians that have concerned. We have to be prepared. The lessons we learned from the last time, that's not happening. But one, Politicians will only care when they know. Politicians will only care when they know that you hold them accountable and you can get them out. You might not be the biggest uh, vote, but your vote matters for them to be there. But we need to register and we need to see, take it seriously and we need to make sure we have the change and the minimum change. And let me say this, and I will tell you, it's not a speculation, but that's what, and go and see. This election is not a normal election. People are saying, um, I see my sister saying the parties are many. I can take a bet. I can even tell you now how many, who are the people who, who would stand or put themselves in nomination. Most of these people are scammers. Those the minute they are bad. They don't, look. Let them put the deposit first. Let them put it, pay for their candidate. You see how many will pay for their candidate? Not election job. Not election job. Not nomination job. Not nomination job. If you have four parties, about maximum five will go, go, go to elections. The so called most of so-called independent candidates or party, most of them don't, would not go well. They have no money to throw. We be realistic. Election is, I don't want to say it's a long, I mean, far away there, but I'll tell you, it's impossible to get the elections now. We have seen these examples in many countries and in the Gambia for that matter. The last elections was an example. Up to two months, um, three months elections, nobody thought me anything would happen. Something came up. In Senegal, Makisal was not even in the red. He was not even in the red when he won the election. And other countries happened. And because one thing more in it, the democracy is there. People have the freedom. For what freedom to move about, freedom to associate, and now it's up to us. We have we shouldn't be lazy. And the people who are proactive and doing their thing, they would pass up. And it's forced past the post. You see, that's the problem with this. I don't I don't need to have everybody to vote for me or more than many. No. I just need to be voted for more than the people, other people. I don't need 50%. I might meet, I might win the election with 23%, 25%. Because of the other parties are fragmented. They, they cannot score 23%. I can win with five votes, four votes, two votes, one vote. One vote and become the president of that country. 
what are mining if we want any democracy we want we have to work hard and and one thing i just want to point out here and I, as i said especially in the opposition i respect some of i mean not some of them i i have no respect for them or have nothing for them i just leave them to be but the dedication however small a political party is however whatever it is they put themselves there i respect them for that how little good they know they talk about that's what they have i'm not saying when they disrespect people no i'm saying that they talk about things ki hamud dara ji fine but no for yo muhammad dara for next you see we keep on seeing this pattern all of these parties people um, let me give you people example who will look at mama kandis party why you so much can ko janga behind the scenes there are people appearing at mama kandis there are people affiliating to mama kandis but they will not come in the open and these people will be the so called educated sincere they are not sincere they will not put themselves up front because you can't say mama kandis win it election sir then i am especially when the 50 plus one was in the offering some of them are stuck now because you know support mama can do they might run away the other person can and i can people might i mean there are why man if you're not even interested in a political party don't go in political party even do you but does it mean the politics be do you because lot of the politics be melody no more than because of you some mass you swing mass you banya banya participate more of money wahu money nga boko sili you got cinema you have a uh, forum uh, of like a platform probably majority on that platform have not subscribed to any political party but they will vote some of them you can tell where they am tahna you get contribute in politics you get to this thing we get whole political parties in in in, in to, to to account you get whole the government to account but you not have that in gambia most of the time or most of all the time even the political parties you make they don't have representative to go and then talk about it. when we talk about economy when we talk about security when we talk about uh what is when we talk about oil exploration when we talk about right, uh, crime when we talk about agriculture when we talk about finance when we talk about governance you see see the same the same person same people even in udp the biggest part and they they have many people we know behind but they will be behind and let udp win the election and see or uh, gdc win the election and see is it a problem with the parties themselves is it a problem with the parties themselves because we see the same problem with um pdis with the intellectual down is only one person or kexani that will come up i'll tell you every day every platform in that country should have competent people that the party would should be I mean, proud of who can talk on subject matters agriculture every i mean this thing but not to come my party policy my party and they don't talk about policy or they even you know their own party policy it's all about uh borrow deed borrow don't do borrow deed borrow don't do we will do what do you do it's not there I know people are fascinated about uh, 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 presidential uh, debate. What does that do for us? What does presidential debate to do? One day, two day, how debate? What eloquent presentation? That's not it. And, and, and that's what we should move away from. It should not be the candidate. It should be a leadership. We want to see the leadership of political parties. 
We want to see the leadership who would be in agriculture, who would talking about, and who would tell us your program on agriculture, on finance, on governance, on this, on that. Not party leader, party leader, party leader, party leader. The president can do president. No. Presidential debate is just what? Does it tell you who, who, who is the better part, uh, this is? Then my father would beat them all, all of them. My father would beat them all. If we are to join, would you vote for my father? you know how today. It's not my star. But if it comes to presenting himself, debate or whatever, I know you can beat any candidate in the country. Would that be enough? Presidential debate? Let's talk about the other substance. Why oil exploration? I mean, Ben, Ben Patty, what about this? What about the, the crime rates and everything? Ben Patty, who, who is going to be, do deal with this thing? What, how are you going to deal with this thing? We have a manifesto. And um, finally, um, just to give this update, yesterday, I'm still looking at the papers. Someone told me yesterday, the three tons of cocaine case, the three tons of cocaine case where they accused Banta, Keta, and Sylvia, two on the substance, and Banta, they let, I say that they let Banta to Banta. <laughs> Banta to 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 abscond. And Banta got a lawyer. Sirif Tambedo. Still now. That's what I'm saying. I'm 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 disappointed. None of the Gambian papers are actually following this case. I don't know Sirif what Sirif was representing Banta for. I mean, still don't see that. I'm trying to read something. Uh, it's not there. Sirif Tambedo was representing Banta. Yes, people say that Banta it's it's there. Banta did exist. The guy in that picture is a human Gambia. He, he, he was in the Gambia and he called himself Banta. Whether his, his real name is Banta Keta or whatever, how many allies he has, yes, that man is in Gambia. People that know him, people that know his associations, his properties, and things he does, yes, that's him. But that's how, how much we know about it. The cocaine case, yesterday, um, a friend texted me to say that the only suspect in the court, Sirif Njai, is released for this judge. I welcome that. Because I don't believe that uh, I'm not belittling Sirif or anything. He's just a client agent. And where these things work, you cannot hold that lone Gambian to be responsible for something that he cannot be responsible for. They let Banta off. Now, if Banta cannot be found, or they don't talk about this case or anything, it went to the courts. And now the only suspect is released. What is the case on now? And you will wonder why crime is just going on. Recently, the Gambia have been importing drugs that have never been imported before. Yes. In the first republic, we have a bit of cocaine, a bit of heroin, and a bit of rush tablets, synthetic. In Yaya Jame, industrial, that's we have the two tons. Adam uh, Baro, three tons. But again, hashish. Hashish have never been an issue in the army. But not only that, synthetic drugs. Estes is different, different kind of drugs now. And most of these synthetic drugs are not imported to the country to be exported for domestic market. Now, people wondering why our youths are so violent. Synthetic drugs. The synthetic drugs. I, I cannot say opio opioids or whatever you call them in the States, but these things are in the country now. It's coming from Russian countries, Eastern, Eastern European countries, to the Gambia. Now they're selling them very cheap, and the youths are taking them. And it's, people can easily depend on them. 
And when you depend on them, you need them. And when you take them, you become violent. Violent. What this government does about does about its own? Because they 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 are cahoots. You drug dealers at every level, from Alamabara to Dan. Banta is known to Alamabara. Banta have supported and PP and others and Silaba Samati and others. But Ababakar Jawara and others. They are all in it. They are all in it. They are re-exporting. Another evidence that they are not telling you. Gambia, the hop, they are exporting to the airports, going to destinations in richer countries, but a new thing has happened. Gambia is re exporting to the um, West African corridor. From the Gambia is going to, that's why the synthetics and other things are going to conflict zones. Mali, when they raided the houses, this thing, that's why, do you see a new thing here? The three tons of cocaine. Banta is Gambian French background, they reported. The hashish, the hashish, they think, the people, some of them are Gambian French background, the Francophone, African. Now, they are exporting to these corridors. Gambia have become a hub. That's why the crime is going. The police are not equipped to do with them because it's not only arrest them, send them to Malfi, they'll come out even more. And most of these people arrested, they cannot be prosecuted because they are arrested for one thing, loitering or, 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 or yeah, in possession of the disease, and they send them three months, six months. They are again. You think where are they gonna go back to crime, and the young ones are following. Uh, problems we have. Thank you, um, guys. Um, it's been a long one. Actually, I wanted to uh, do it just an over an hour. It's been a long one. Um, a very difficult one. Okay, I'm going to do it now. Thank you. Oh, another thing is um, after the vaccine, and I encourage people, especially people scared of it, needles. I am petrified of needles, but you don't even feel it. I'll tell you that. People who are scared of needles, I left it too late, but I had the courage today and I went for it and I I can't even remember having it. It's different from what I remember. I cannot remember being injected for 30 something years. The injections uh, that I had in the Gambia before are different from this. It's just like a pinch. I encourage people, I mean, to, to get vac uh, vaccinated, especially um people in the gambia i know all this uh conspiracy theories going on i mean i am satisfied to be vaccinated and and i think i i owe it to, to to say it i know people are having their doubts or anything but i cannot i i i rather take it to be safe than and then take that risk thank you guys and have a good afternoon thank you thank you